Okay, YouTubers, uh, I'm still going through, uh, I got a box here, a whole bunch of sockets, I already went, put a whole bunch in my, uh, piece here, anyway. This is some, what's there, I'm getting ready to move the motor, turn it around, move out, work on it, maybe a little this evening. But, these are all, this toad here, it's not that many left in here, but, it was filled up to about here, if you can see that, uh, with uh, these sockets, these, all these tools, not the air piece, that's mine, but all the rest of it was in there, actually was in there, and uh, yeah, and I got some of that other stuff over there, Pepsi things, uh, them fishing poles, got that at the last auction, so, as you see the box sitting over there. Uh, stereo. Just want to show you, show you, and I was going through these, so I had a couple videos on here, but I'm gonna try to work on, like I said, the engine a little bit. I want to try to get that uh, harmonic balancer off. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right. Okay, I know the lighting's not the best in here in my garage. Let's see if we can pull this up. And bring it down a little bit for you. That actually made it worse. Let's go back this way then. I know. I'm making weird noises. Seems like it's heavy, but it's just my hip. Uh, what we're going to do is pop this bolt off here. And I'm going to take these three out, and I'm going to put my puller on there, and I'm going to pull it off. That right there is a 14 or a 15 millimeter. Just by looking, I can tell. And the reason I say that, I can tell, because most, uh, most of this truck is metric. But I did run across a couple things that wasn't metric. millimeter socket and that's the one to go to this so it's uh, probably on my long ascension so I am totally wrong guys that's 14 there that's 15 15 is not working and I think my next step up on mine I don't know if it's a six. I got a sixteen or not. See, it's just a hair bit loose. It should work. What we need to do. I'm hoping you guys can see what I'm doing. This is already loose. I loosened that up in another video. I thought it might have been tight. I'll if it would have been tight, I was going to tap on it or get something to tap on this, like a ratchet dip or uh, impact, and just loosen it up. These should already be loose. And the reason I'm doing this is right behind here is where your timing chain is. And this is where your water pump goes. And this, all these other bolts is where the accessories mount to. I'm going to set all them down there on the engine puller. Engine crane. Now, I'm going to go grab my puller and we're going to put it on there and see how easy it comes off. Now, when you get a puller, Make sure you get the right one. They make a steering wheel puller. 
and they make a mod bounce for it. They look good. Also, it's the same. I will show you here in a second. Got to find all my goodies. This would be a mic balance floor, and you can see the difference. They're both going to pull a steering wheel if you really wanted them to, but look how small that is. I mean, you wouldn't want that to try to pull that. So, then you want to make sure you put your tip on. That just, more or less, I put a little, goes on there and slides like that. And what that's going to do is go in there. So, let me go ahead and get my bolts. And I recommend using the bolts that come with it. Or, if you do not have them, you broke for some reason or anything. You probably want to go, I would recommend a grade 8. I got to find out which ones they are. And they're definitely not it. I'll take one of these with me so I'll know. I know it's a, a finer thread. Looks like I might be missing one for some reason. These these should have came in threes, I would thought. See if that's it. No, oh, no, that's that's definitely not it. That's coarser. It. And no, I can't use the my the ones that came out of it. They're too short. I think I found them here, guys. I think these are it. So easy it screws in, that's what you want. I would recommend not to, some people try to put a pry bar or something behind there. And, uh, push and pull on that. Yes, it can come off that way, but I wouldn't recommend it because then you got your, uh, if you knock the puller off balance or anything. I'm going to, well, I'm putting my I actually... I'm going to just put these to flush and put my fair back here. Make sure enough threads in there. It's probably about an inch thick. Three quarters of an inch. But you definitely want to make sure this lines up right in the middle. And this usually is three quarters of an inch. There, tighten it up. And actually, let me go get a ratchet wrench. See if I was right, guys. It's a three-quarter inch ratchet wrench, three-quarter and five eighths. Yeah, that's right. It's actually turning the motor over. 
So that's why I'm tapping on like this. I'm trying not to turn the motor over. It is coming off, guys. It's coming off pretty easy. So I'm not hitting it hard. And the only reason I'm doing this is because this thing's got a hundred and forty some thousand metals, so I'm gonna check its timing chain and change it. I already bought one, so I must have just changed it. Now when you go to put this back on, you should find a, try to find a bolt that fits in there pretty long. Bottom it out. Make sure it's like a grade 8, grade 5 at least. And then you'll put a nut on there, or if it's all thread work. And then you'll turn that nut and pull it up real good and put it back on. I'll let y'all show you that. I'll put it on somehow. It's pretty easy for you guys. Because I don't have these big tools that these garages have. And see guys? Came right off. I know you're probably seeing my bald head. Take a spark and show you something real quick. Now, if you can see in here, if this only go on one way, it's got a keyway. And what you you don't really want to sand this. Some people say clean it up. If you're gonna do anything, use a steel or something, clean it off, or something like that. Nothing that's gonna make marks because. That's actually running on a, a seal, rubber seal right there, which you can change. I have, I'll decide if I'm going to change it or not, see what it looks like. And you can see I got a little bit of silicone in there. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, stop the video for now. And then uh, I'll come back to you and show you some more in a minute. Alright guys, uh, I went ahead and cracked these loose, and they're, I mean, they're not tight at all, because these actually got a little rubber gasket and O-rings in them. I'm just loosening them up, and I'm going to try to pull this pan, or the valve cover off. Now I loosened the pan up, as you see, but the pan's already been off a couple times. Uh, I think I've seen, you've seen it in my other video. And what I'm trying to do is going to try to keep all these bolts where they go in case one's longer than the other one. Which I think they're all the same, but you never know. And I'm hoping I got this pan down far enough that I can pull this out like that. Yes, I do. So I'm keeping all of them because if you see right here, see how long that one is? See how short that one is? So you want to make sure, which we'll go over this in the upcoming videos, you want to make sure you get all these gaskets out. That our gasket doesn't look too bad. But look, this is, now you can see. That's why I'm changing changing that timing chain. Look how where wore it is. The teeth are even worn. Uh, 
Let me see. Set this back in here. Let me see if I can. Five eighths might fit it. Nope. I think I got a socket down here. I'll try to show you how much play is actually in this thing. That's not going to work, guys. Too loose. Give me one second. Here we go. Just getting a whole bunch of washers. Just standard washer. I just don't want, I don't want to take that thread and bottom that out in there and screw something up. Because I can't, it can do that. See if that's there enough. Getting close. I don't think it's doing enough. Nope. Need like one or two more washes. All I'm doing is trying to shim it out so I can turn the motor. There's no spark plugs in it, so it's not going to uh, put any compression on it to really damage anything. There we go. That should work. It's really shimmed out there now. Let's just see if we can uh, turn this a little. Because I'm going to have to turn the motor anyway to line up the dots. Well, actually, this one looks like, in a way, like Chevron. In a way, uh... Like on a military, because I guess outfit, but it's not. I don't know if this will work or not. Yeah, it's working. Because I'm using this to push too. There should be something down here that that lines up with, which it's going to be on the other gear. This is going to have to be pulled off too, this gear. But, alright. But you can see how loose that is, guys. See? This is still loose, and look how loose. And that's, get, that's pulling it that way. Whoa, you can really see how loose it got there. Let's see if we can... Look. Both sides. That time in the shot. Alright, let's go ahead and pull this piece. See if we can get that off there. Now you ain't gonna be you won't be able to use your uh, steering wheel puller for that. I actually have a puller that's made for that. Well, not exactly for this, but it might work. Let me go get it. And that's this. They make these in all different combinations.
And whatever you do, you don't want that pushing in here, right in here, and actually you golden that up neither. Make your threads. I'm going to just set this on here a second now. I'm going to show you what I'm going to recommend to doing. I recommend it getting, doesn't matter what it is, PB blaster, grease, anything. Anything you got on hand. Since this don't, this one don't have the piece, it switch side, which it will work still. I lubricated that up. And there we go. Uh, I think that's that's seven eighths. Let me go get seven eighths. If I ain't mistaken, it's been a while since I used that. Got seven eighths here. Might. Yep, it's seven eighths. And what I'm trying to do is gently. Pull that off. I'm going to lube, lube that up too. Hasn't been run a while. And you see, it doesn't take much for that one. That one started coming right off. It just barely sits on there. You don't want to drop that or anything because that thing is, it's balanced too. You don't want any vibration. And then, actually look how lucky we got here guys. Right here and right there is where it's supposed to be lined up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and line them up just to show you where it's got to be. And see it's off just there. Right there. It's a they're dead on. Let me see if I can get you it off here and show you. I don't know how good this turned out, but right here and right here is little little triangles. Yeah, you can see the one there. It's one there. They're lined straight up. So. Alright, see if I can get you back down here without making this camera all messy. I'm going to have to wipe it off. But you can see, that is shot. So I'm glad I definitely did get that. And then... On here, uh, I'm trying to see, show you, yeah this is just a rubber, rubber gasket right there. And there goes my phone. Still got to get this one off, well this one off, and that's a rubber gasket there. So. But you can see the time chain is shot. As long as that's all that's wrong, I'm good. Just got wore out. I was told the motor ran real good. Didn't have no noises, but they can tell you one thing and be told something totally different. Ain't like I'm having tons of money. I got three hundred dollars in this whole motor. That's all the new parts. The only thing we can do is put the new parts on, see what it does. Alright, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. It's a small, uh, it's, this motor is the same thing as a small block Chevy. It's a 4.3, two cylinders took off. And it go, it's uh, going in my uh, little uh, blazer here. If anybody else hasn't seen the videos going in this. It's got the uh, 
aftermarket rims on it. Thanks for watching.